the world of open source AI has exploded, giving us freedom and control over our AI projects. Gone are the days when AI developments was locked behind proprietary walls. Open source breaks down these barriers and let us experiment without huge upfront costs. So what does this open source AI stack look like in practice? Let's break it down, starting with the front end, the gateway to our AI applications. For scalable apps, frameworks like Next.js and SvelteKit shine with their streaming capabilities. It's crucial for showing AI responses as they are generated. For rapid prototyping, tools like Streamlit and Gradio let us build interactive interfaces in pure Python, though we might need something more robust as our apps grow more complex. Let's talk about the data layer, where we connect our AI models with our specific data, whether there's documents, product catalogs, or customer records. A key concept here is RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Instead of fine-tuning models on our data, RAG dynamically pulls relevant context during inference. We first convert our documents into vectors using embedding models, store them in a vector database, and then at query time, we retrieve the most similar chunks and inject them into the model's context window. This gives us up-to-date responses and precise control over our AI's knowledge base. For making sense of our vector spaces, Nomic Atlas helps us visualize and debug our embeddings. When we need to handle documents, Lamy Index helps us build robust processing pipelines, from splitting text into meaningful chunks to generating embeddings. For handling diverse file formats, from PDFs to Excel files, Apache Tika handles the heavy lifting of content extraction and metadata parsing. For multimodal search, Gina AI lets us work with text, images, and other data types in a unified vector space with built-in support for cross-model querying. Now for the backend. Fast API gives us that solid API foundation we need with WebSocket support built right in, great for streaming our AI responses in real time. When we need to connect multiple AI operations, Langchain helps us build those complex workflows while keeping everything in clean, maintainable Python. Then there's Metaflow, which lets us write ML pipelines as straightforward Python code while handling the complex parts like data versioning and orchestration automatically. And we can scale from our laptop to the cloud with minimal changes. For working with models, we've got some great options. Olama makes local development on smaller models easy, almost like we're working with Docker before AI. Then there's the Hugging Face ecosystem, opening up a world of community models we can access programmatically. For storage, we've got options that fit different scales. If we're already using Postgres, PG Vector gives us vector search capabilities right in our existing database. When we need to go bigger, Milvis and WeVA are purpose-built for this, with WeVA standing out for its hybrid search combining vector and keyword approaches. The LLM landscape is especially dynamic right now. Models like Mistral and DeepSeek are pushing what's possible with open-way models, with tools like Lama.cpp with GGUF format and quantization are making these models run efficiently on consumer hardware. That's really the beauty of the open source AI stack. It puts us in control, though it comes with its own challenges around maintenance and expertise. What we cover here is just a snapshot of the current landscape and is far from exhaustive. New tools and approaches are emerging all the time. The key is to start simple with proven tools scale what matters, and stay flexible as the ecosystem evolves. If you like our videos, you may like our system design newsletter as well. It covers topics and trends in large-scale system design, trusted by 1 million readers. Subscribe at blog.bybygo.com.